Hi YouTube, we are gonna be playing some Commander Keen today. Um, I have decided that I'm gonna do a funny thing called Retro Tuesday and uh, relive some childhood memories. And uh, yeah, Commander Keen is gonna be the first thing I will be playing. I think I'm gonna be playing the whole series, but eh. we're gonna be starting with episode one, of course. And uh, yeah, it's been ages since I played this. It came out in 1991, I think, and uh, I was four in that year, or I, uh, well, in December, I was four. <laughs> so I don't think I played it when it came out, but I played it a while, like a bit later than that. And yeah, it's, uh, I never forgot about this game. So I suppose it was kind of awesome. And uh, yeah, Today I'm gonna replay it, uh, or start replaying it at least. So um, yeah, here we go, I guess. Uh, <laughs> constantly confused will gain back his sanity on Thursday. Yeah, after you're done with all the annoying stuff you have to deal with. I, uh, yeah, I hope you get through the next two days uh, and Thursday, uh, well, I guess. Which day is it today? Well, it's Tuesday since it's Retro Tuesday. So yeah, I hope you get through the next two days well and then can relax on the weekend and hopefully a bit longer than that even. So um, yeah, that, that would, be, would be something to hope for and I hope the time until then is just not too stressful. So uh, let's start a new one player game because I don't have any friends. <laughs> and uh, here we are. This is not what the game uh, looks like. This is just the, well it is, but it's just the, the world map. So our ship is missing parts. Uh, a joystick, a battery, a vacuum cleaner and some alcohol. Go get them. <laughs> uh, so one thing I probably never paid attention to when I was a child is the story. And uh, there is a story to this. I just gotta find it. Oh yeah, here info. <laughs> That's where you gotta look for the story, of course. So here we go, the story. Commander Keen in Invasion of the Vorticons. Billy Blaze, eight-year-old genius, working diligently in his backyard clubhouse, has created an interstellar st a spa a starship from old soup cans, rubber cement and plastic tubing. While his folks are out, uh, out on the town and the babysitter has fallen asleep, Billy travels into his backyard workshop, dons his brother's football helmet and transforms into... Commander Keen, Defender of Earth. In his ship, the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, Keen dispenses galactic justice with an iron hand. Yeah, epic. <laughs> episode 1 Marooned on Mars. In this episode, aliens from the planet Vorticon 6 find out about the eight year old genius and plan his destruction. While Keen is out exploring the mountains of Mars, the Vorticons steal vital parts of his ship and take them to distant Martian cities. Can Keen recover the pieces of his ship and repel the Vorticon invasion? Will he make it back before his parents get home? Stay tuned! what the Vorticons have stolen. The bean with bacon mega rocket was constructed from objects around the house. What you have modified, uh, that you have modified into starship uh, parts. Joystick from your brother's video game, manual flight control. Car battery from your mom's car, <laughs> electrical systems power. Vacuum cleaner from the kitchen, heavily modified. Iron propulsion unit with carpet height adjustment. <laughs> Everclear, from your dad's liquor cabinet, fuel, obviously. The Vorticons have taken these pieces to the far reaches of Mars and are guarding them. You must find the members of this Vorticon outpost and wrest these parts back from their wicked clawed hands. Information on Mars. Unbeknownst to NASA, 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 well, I don't, still don't know. I think someone once told me, but I forgot again. When the Viking lander settled to the surface of Mars, it caused a major political upheaval. Viking actually landed on the despotic Martian king. 
<laughs> the Yorps, the extremely friendly one-eyed Martians, were free from enslavement, and the Garks, the vicious aggressive Martians, were angry. The Martians created robots for um, me menial work and guard duties. Um, or venial work? <laughs> no, it's menial. Yeah. I think so. Uh, beware of the tank-like guard robots. They are very good at what they do. Martians have been visiting Earth in UFOs for decades. Why? They come to our Earth for one reason. They want our toys! Hula hoops and skateboards are holy objects to them. Who knows? You may find some toys useful. There are signs everywhere. You haven't been able to decipher them yet. The adventure begins. Your task is before you. Go get him, Commander Keen. And don't miss episodes 2 and 3 in the Invasion of the Vorticons trilogy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get to that later. <laughs> okay, um, well then. Let's, uh, let's continue, or rather start the game then, uh, by playing level 1. <laughs> So if you know this game already, you might notice tiny differences because I'm uh, playing this in Commander Genius, which is a fan project that uh, kind of makes it run a little bit smoother and also gives you some uh, a little bit, like a little bit upgraded graphics. Nothing that changes the, the whole feel of the game. But uh, yeah, I personally like it. And also the background music, I think, is kind of a, a remix of uh, stuff. I'm not even sure if the first one had background music, but uh, now it has, and I like it. <laughs> so, um, so far we're just jumping around. Oh yeah, and by the way, this alphabet here in the background, I think you can actually decipher these. Uh, there is a decoder, I think, on the Wikipedia page that you find in episode 6, I believe. So, um, yeah, if, uh, if I were to look at that, we could decipher these signs, but I don't think I want to do that today. <laughs> we're just going to be role-playing and Keen uh, or Billy doesn't know how to read these, so neither do we. Um, yeah, so far we're just platforming a little bit. I hope the sound is okay. If not, let me know. Oh yeah, and also I collected um, <laughs> collected a philosophy book here right at the start. I'm not sure if I should say the name of the author because it's also not the nicest word in the English language. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not gonna jump onto these things because I believe they instantly kill you. This one doesn't though. Yeah. Um, whoop. I have practiced a little bit before playing today, um, because, yeah, you really need to get used to the controls. <laughs> they aren't bad, but uh, something to get used to. And there we have some uh, product placement. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm just collecting all this because uh, for every 20,000 points you collect, you get an extra life. But I don't think I, I will collect everything. I think we've found enough for, for now. And the exit for level 1 is right over here. Alright. So, these aren't levels uh, in the classical sense, but just some platforming and uh, some lore or interaction. You hear in your mind, it is too bad that you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet, human. <laughs> Indeed it is. Oops, wrong button. Um, so yeah, that's what I, what I said before. These actually mean something. Maybe this could mean exit, the thing next to the door. So you might actually be able to decipher it without uh, getting the whole decoder thing. But uh, say so yeah, one thing I want to collect right away before I go into any other levels is uh, right here. <laughs> the iconic pogo stick, which uh, 
doesn't have a word in the standard galactic alphabet, so Pogo is just written here. Below that, that might actually say stick. I don't know, I mean, it has seemingly five letters below the Pogo, so uh, yeah, now we got the Pogo stick. <laughs> ah. I so wanted to have a pogo stick when I want when I was a, a child. <laughs> Don't think they work quite as well uh, in reality as they do in this game, but um, yeah, I wanted to have a pogo stick and a jetpack. <laughs> so I think now we are ready to enter another level. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can actually shoot our pistol, but we only have five shots, so. Um, I'm gonna try saving that and they just commit suicide anyway, so we don't have to shoot them. <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> that was almost death. Pizza! So with the pogo stick one nice move you can do is just uh, from like not having it, instantly using it like this uh, and then you don't have to work around the clunky pogo stick controls, but you can just instantly take it out and do a max high jump, so that's kind of cool. Like this. Because, uh, yeah, you, you kind of easily overshoot your target when you have the pogo stick out all the time. That's uh, that's rotten teeth right there. <laughs> so far, I don't see many toys, but uh, yeah, mostly mostly food, and that was not what I intended to do. Oh well, that was good. Ha! And we found a yellow key card. We're gonna need that one. And there's a tiny robot. Not gonna mess with that one. I don't think that was the tank-like robot they mentioned before, but still don't want to mess with that one. And um, this is um, kind of a more dangerous enemy. More philosophy. <laughs> I think that's the first ship part down there. Mom's car battery. <laughs> Oh no, the enemy is on, it's like, loose now. Oh well. So we need to find a red key card to get through that door up top. And we got our first extra life. It's uh, gonna be helpful, I think. Oh, I also should remember to save. Because, um, you can easily die. And when you have no lives left, it's all over. <laughs> I think we'll have to shoot that one if we get in there. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we don't, don't get me in here. Yeah. First shot. Each shot. One kill. <laughs> I'm scared of this one down there. Honestly. Oh, it's a... oh, damn. <laughs> Blind drops. Gotta love them. <laughs> Think I'll save. As, uh, as I mentioned. Think... Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. Let's try that again. You die really quickly. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not gonna not gonna load right away. I mean we can get more extra life, so it's gonna be fine, right? <laughs> I'm gonna load if I lose all my lives. Oh, damn. 
That's better. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, close. <laughs> ah, I really have to get used to the controls. I think this time I'll just die. Ah! <laughs> I know I can do this. This this level is not that hard, but um, it's so easy to mess up. Okay. There's just no room for mistakes. <laughs> Kinda gotta learn the layout of the level as well to not die in, in falling. These don't actually kill you, but just push you around. If I have enough shots to defeat this one, but I'm gonna try. Yeah. No, damn, come on, die. Oh, okay, four shots, that's all I had. <laughs> I'm glad that worked out. And we still have the key card anyway, so I guess it would be a good idea to go back and hopefully not die to a blind drop again. And maybe I go down here. I'm not sure if you can trust the lollipops. You can trust the platforms. <laughs> Hello, Boris. <laughs> nice game. I only played three or four, I think. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, part one and part four like were released as shareware. So, if you didn't pay for it and didn't pirate it, I mean, there was piracy back then already, but Typically, um, people played part 1, part 4, and I think part 3.5, basically, which was Keen Dreams. Um, so, yeah, probably one of those. <laughs> I, myself, played, I think, actually only part 1 and part 4 and part 3.5. <laughs> Almost died there. Um, so... Some of this will be new to me as well, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and I'm glad that you decided to join. Nice to see you again. Uh, I hope my my gameplay will get better. Okay, we found the door. I'll just not mess with you if that's all right. We could get another like extra shots for our pistol over there. Maybe that would be good. I'm not quite sure how to get there though. Is this the right way? Ah, I think it is. Ooh, yes, nice. This should be useful. Hmm, there's also still another teddy bear over here. Whoa, 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 no! Damn! I shouldn't have gone for the teddy bear. <laughs> ah, gotta do it all again. Stupid, 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 stupid. I mean, no one to blame but myself and the clunky controls, I guess. <laughs> but mostly myself in this case. Ah well, speedrun time now. No speedrun time anymore. <laughs> I will get better eventually, I'm sure of it. Hey, I did get the extra life now, isn't that great? 
I'll just focus on the main task now. Grab the key card somewhere up here. Hmm. Already not in the Ah damn! Oh, okay, I could I could stop myself. I just remembered the stupid stupid plant thingies down here. <laughs> this is rough. I suppose, like, I probably never finished even part one of this game. I mean, or maybe I was just much more skilled when I was a child, I'm not sure. Okay, we got the key card, the first one. Now we're gonna get over here. I'm gonna shoot this one. No! Missed one shot, that's not great, but still good enough. And we can't actually enter here, so... <laughs> yeah, the good old shareware days. <laughs> uh, the memories. I don't know if you know, but... <laughs> This was actually made by the company who went on to create um, such, uh, I don't know, not very well-known games such as um, Wolfenstein, Quake, Doom. Well, they started with this game. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure where I could land, but I was pretty sure I could land on that one, so that worked out. Um, so yeah, but I think uh, this even like kind of qualifies as an indie game because when they made this they still were an indie company, I'd say. <laughs> no, why do you have to bonk your head there? I'm gonna be dead soon. Ah, damn. <laughs> this is the warm-up part. <laughs> Hmm. Should have grabbed that bear, but now I don't care anymore. <sighs> I'm gonna figure out the safe path eventually, right? It isn't that hard to beat this level. I've actually done it when I prepared for recording uh, or like streaming this. But uh, of course, since the brain capacity is drastically reduced while streaming, now I'm struggling horribly. Maybe I should just ignore this one this time. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Last life! Ah, isn't that nice. Ooh, almost lost it. <laughs> I mean, I do have a save, so... If I die, I die and can still retry, I guess. That was already wrong. I got an extra life, so we can mess up some more. I would prefer not to do that though. Damn, of course you dodge. No, I don't have any shots. Crap. Well, that, that didn't go according to plan. <sighs> oh, well, I got two shots in, I think. Now grab the red key card. No more head bonking. We'll take the slice of pizza though. Okay, got everything. Now let's just get out of here. <sighs> We've seen enough of this level. 
At least no death drop this time. Let's take the safe path around here. Safer, I guess I should say. Nothing is safe in this game. This is the dark souls of platformers. <laughs> Forget about Hollow Knight. Keen is where it's at. <laughs> um, I remember playing Doom 1 and 2, Cosmos, Cosmic Adventure and probably Keen 4 as shareware. Yeah. <laughs> I have never played Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, but all the others I have played and we finally reached the exit of this level. So I don't know where that uh, K9 alien went to, but I don't really... Oh, it went in here for some reason. I'll just ignore you and say bye. <laughs> ah, first try. Great. <laughs> well, I still got to life, so I suppose it's not all bad. Let's do better on this level. Let's one-shot this one, maybe. Wouldn't that be nice? I do like the music in this level. Yellow key card required. Maybe the music is a bit too loud. Actually, it shouldn't be that loud. Mm, I hope it's okay. If not, just let me know if it's too loud or anything. No, oh, and it restarts. <laughs> well, that's okay. Ah, we get the yellow key card. Cool. Should we just go there then? I mean, let's see. <laughs> Sound blaster, yes. <laughs> the good old days. But I think actually for this game, it doesn't really make a difference if it's Sound Blaster or um, 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 PC speakers. Because, oh damn, I have to get away. This one rushes at you. I'll shoot you. Bye. Grab these lollipops. And yeah, I think this is all all the same. No matter if you have a great sound card or uh, just the PC speakers. The background music uh, is actually added uh, by the interpreter that I'm using. It's uh, I'm playing in Commander Genius, which is like a fan project um, that yeah interprets the code and makes it playable on uh, on, on Windows and uh, I think some other systems like Linux and um, maybe also Mac and Android. I'm not sure about Mac. Um, it's been ported to the Switch as well, I think. So yeah, quite a few platforms you can get this for. I mean, I think you would need a modded Switch for that, but still. Um, yeah, so uh, it's also, of course, you could play it in DOSBox, but this is kind of more made specifically for Keen. So uh, it got some extra features and such, I think. Leave me alone, seriously. <laughs> The death animation is quite interesting and, uh, well, if there was blood, it would actually be gory, I guess. <laughs> and I think we made it through. Was this on the first try? Might have been. Don't think I'm gonna try getting those two philosophy books up there. I think I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, I was about eight years old, I guess. Yeah, I suppose that was roughly the time when I played this one as well. So that would be 25 years ago now. <laughs> Damn, I'm old. <laughs> so uh, we've got another one of these platforming areas. Let's see if we get something new here. Mm, well, we get fire. We ignore the fire if we pogo. Yes, nice. 
Okay, here we are. A message echoes in your head. The teleporter in the ice will send you to the dark side of Mars. Okay, good to know. I guess it's uh, it's our job now to get to that teleporter up there <laughs> and then get to the dark side of Mars. So we've already found um, two ship pieces, right? Like the, we just got the joystick, right? Can I make that jump? I'm not sure. Can we get up here? Yeah, we can. That's better. I guess the biggest problem is not even the, I don't know, uh, controls, but the blind drops that can lead to instant death. That's, uh, yeah, the biggest risk in this one. This is not that problematic. Better. I think uh, those things kill you when you jump underneath them, so I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> or rather, I'm gonna try to avoid that. Damn, leave me alone! Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could shoot it from up here, but that worked. I guess I could have just ignored them. I'm not gonna not gonna collect those, I think. I'm good. Hmm. I would like to collect that one. Don't think I can can I get it from down here if I Yes, nice. And then I can ignore them, I guess. This is the goal, so let's not waste more bullets than we have to. Okay, this would be the exit. There's probably more in this level, right? I mean, I feel like I'm skipping quite a bit right now. <laughs> yeah, I might die now, but whatever, I want to explore a bit more. I mean, this is not a speed run, so let's enjoy this and collect some more lollipops. Damn. Ooh, okay, that was dangerous, I suppose. Maybe? I'm not sure what's down there. Do I want to find out? I guess the lollipop will be safe. Yes, this one was. That one isn't. Damn, this game is mean. There's so much level that you don't really need to go into. That's weird. I guess I started here, so I guess the main task was to get up there. Uh, do we take the path down here? I'm not sure if that's safe. I wish you could look down, <laughs> but you can't, and I don't even trust these lollipops there. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't. <laughs> that's so mean. Pizza. Hmm, Pepsi. Ooh. Almost, almost died there. Oh, is that a secret area there? Hmm, doesn't seem so. Looks. Ah! Damn! No, leave me alone! Damn. It's, uh. It's a secret enemy area, I guess. Uh, and it is a secret area too, but nothing hidden there except for that enemy, so yay. Well, at least I dodged that, so that's cool. I think I'm good. Take me to the exit, please. Okay, we get some more philosophy. <laughs> Hmm. 
kind of want to decipher these, but eh, not today. <laughs> and I'm not high enough yet. Crap. Ah, well, we'll make it there. No, maybe, maybe not. Damn, we're not gonna make it there. Crap. Ah, that one scared me to death. Literally. Well, I'm gonna take the upper path again. That one worked kind of well for me. Nice, more shots. Might actually not have been that bad that I died there. I collected enough stuff before I died, and now I even got another blaster, uh, so this should be good. Still plus three. <laughs> Leave me alone! No! Ooh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Early games were sadistic indeed. <laughs> Just a fun little platformer for children. Super frustrating as well. I mean, I guess they had uh, limited capacity on those uh, floppy disks, so... If you can't have much content, better make your content hard so that the playtime is a bit longer. <laughs> well, I got through this, so we're good. We can now get to... Is, yeah, I guess this is the teleporter in the ice, so let's get to the dark side of Mars and maybe maybe we should save actually. That might be a good idea. <laughs> Always forgetting about that. Uh, let's first check these areas here. I wonder... Uh, this looks like an actual level. Damn! Oh no! Ice physics! You actually can't control at all while you're on that. You just keep moving in the direction you're going in. And that is the worst kind of ice physics. Uh, well, maybe it isn't actually. So at least you can plan ahead with those kind, uh, with, with that kind of ice physics. And I think, yeah, here we have the typical ice physics, moonwalking time. <laughs> here we have the typical ice physics where you just slide in the direction but can still kind of control and start a moonwalk and all that good stuff. But the other ice blocks just send you wherever you had it and you have no way of controlling anymore. Damn, I thought this was just... Uh... Ah, damn. More intel, but nope. Ah, this is an actual level. Oh, damn. Those might be the... Guess I had to shoot them now. I was scared. No, oh, leave me alone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what you do if you touch me, but please just don't. You were also super skilled when you were a kid. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, I mean, I don't quite remember how far I made it in this game, but I do believe that I didn't finish it. I'm not sure, though. I think also... Oh, I'm glad I killed these. I think I played Keen Dreams the most. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is really tough to control. Yay, key card. Okay, glad that we can drop down here. And now let's see. Oh, we've got some Pepsi over there. Is it safe? Kinda, maybe. If we are allowed to drop down here. We are. Okay. All right. Are we done? More philosophy. <laughs> More philosophy. Um. Nah, I'm actually playing with the controller. Um, <laughs> I I have played this also like uh, recently. I, I when I when I 
first uh, installed this uh, Commander Genius interpreter. Uh, I first played it with uh, with the keyboard and still works quite well. And I could I could do that, but uh, you can hear me like. Uh, using the keyboard so I feel it's nicer to just use a controller to not have those sounds in the background but uh, if you're really interested to see me playing with the keyboard I might actually be better at that I, I think uh, I can definitely do that uh, later on you see these wor words in your head now I see them okay you will need a ray gun in the end but not to shoot the vorticon Ooh, foreshadowing <laughs> I uh, definitely don't know how the story ends. <laughs> also, I think even back in the day I played this in English. I don't even know if there was a German localization, so... I definitely didn't understand any of the story. Well, we got through this and... Um, we got some more intel. In the end we'll need a ray gun, but not to shoot a Vorticon. Who are we gonna shoot? Um, have we been in here? Not really, right? Well, let's check it out. Hmm. This is nice, quiet music. More ice physics. I don't want to mess with that one down there. <laughs> A snow creature. I don't really know what their name is. I don't think... I mean, maybe they're all Vorticons, but I think all the monsters have uh, specific names too, like all the aliens. Ooh, we got a cannon. I don't even remember this. I'm just gonna go up here if that's okay. Wow, the sounds. So much for the nice quiet music in the background. You can't hear anything of that. <laughs> I completed all the sharewares, but not the full games, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at some point I actually got some pirated copies over time, like not of uh, the Keen games, but definitely of some other games back then. Uh, Piracy, I guess, has always been a thing. <laughs> and actually it might have been the only way to get some of these games, because I think back then you had to kind of send uh, cash in an envelope or something to, to these developers or publishers, and then you'd get like, yeah, basically the game. Uh, also, of course, uh, through the po um, yeah th through through the mail, because um, yeah, internet was not really a, a major thing back then. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if you if they would send uh, all the way to Germany back then. I guess probably, but I don't know. Um, okay, we got a red key card up there. Do we have? Tanks on both sides or only on... Yes, we have... Damn! Tank bots on both sides, so... We might have to shoot them. I'm sure that foreshadowing was just about... You don't have to shoot a Vorticon, you have to shoot a tank bot, right? Not a human or something like that. I really don't know how it's gonna end. Damn. I can't even align, and I'm so scared. Okay, now I'm aligned. That's good. Now we got the peaceful music again. How many shots do you take, by the way? Would you tell me? I kind of need to get up there, so I would like you to die. Is this one invincible? Might be. I'm gonna keep trying. Damn. Okay, wasted all my shots. Maybe I just have to dodge this this one. Or find another way, but... I'm gonna go with the dodging. <sighs> well, I hope I can find some, some ammo somewhere else. <laughs> I suppose you might have somehow gotten up here. Because you can't go down here, but it's semi-solid, so... I don't know. Let's see where this takes me. 
Damn, now there's the canine creatures and I don't have any shots left. This is gonna be fun. Um, damn. How am I supposed to do this? Hmm. Oh, and there's the exit, of course. Thanks for making me waste all my shots. Ah, uh, whatever. <sighs> Was there even a gun in there anywhere? I don't remember. I'm gonna go into another stage and hope for the best. Otherwise, I'll have to load a save because I... I don't see how we can get through the, that ending without um, at least four shots in our gun. Let's hope for the best in this thing here. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look too difficult, so that's something. Uh, uh, well, that went amazingly well. Here we go. Yeah, there we are. Fun. Okay. Damn, can't even shoot this one. No extra lives for us. A voice buzzes in your mind. There is a hidden city. Look in the dark area of the city to the south. Okay, interesting. Well then, does that city in the south have some ammo? I guess there must be some ammo somewhere around here. Hmm. What is this? Is this the hidden city? <laughs> hmm. We've got really creepy music. Did I enter the boss area? I really hope I didn't. enemy. Could I get that blue key card, please? Damn. Nope, I couldn't. <sighs> Let's try that again. I mean, if I die, I'll just load and I'll have uh, I'll have ammo again, so that's gonna be good. I think I'll have to replay one level I've already completed, uh, but that's okay. This is so rough, like these enemies, immortal, but um, damn. But you still have to... No! <sighs> On ice, all of that at the same time, I really don't like it. And it's like changing its direction whenever it likes to. No, no strict pattern or anything. Bye! <laughs> Ah, the complaining helped. It always does. It's the way of the Karen. <laughs> I want to speak to your lead, de lead game designer, please. <sighs> Still no ammo. I wish I hadn't wasted it all. <laughs> Should have stopped after five shots. I mean, even if you could defeat them, it wouldn't have been worth it. Okay, gotta use the key card up there. I would just like to walk out, but considering the fact that I might just die when I fall down here, whatever, I'm gonna go out. I mean, I don't wanna die and I believe this might just be a drop. 
bankrupt to the death or whatever. Hmm. There are. I don't think these spikes up there make any sense. These icicles. I mean, I don't think you can reach them. Oh! Whoa, okay. So they don't do anything. And of course we got another one of those enemies. Isn't that great? What am I supposed to do? I will have to load, I believe. I I don't see a way to to get past them and before I clear even more levels and <laughs> basically waste my time, I'll rather rather load now. <laughs> Want to speak to John Carmack, please? <laughs> Thanks for looking that up. I actually uh, remember that name from looking up a bit on the history as well when I like also found out partially found out partially remembered that they also made all those games I mentioned before like uh, Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein I don't know how it's pronounced in English <laughs> and uh, Quake and Doom oh no why am I shooting this one I'm making the same mistakes again stupid me ah well I still got 11 shots so we should be good right <laughs> really like my oh no we've got those things again crap it's gonna be loud I'm not gonna waste any shots on anything that's not completely necessary wow that's mean oh if you have your pogo stick you don't slide like you like I did before. That's good to know. Ha! Pizza! I think in a, one of the recent Doom game there even was like a Commander Keen Easter egg or something like I don't know if it was a special cutscene that you could unlock featuring uh, some version of Keen or if it was like a costume or something but I did see uh, an interesting short little video that I didn't quite get because I didn't play any Doom games for a long long time. But, um, well, if anyone knows what that was about, tell me. <laughs> okay. This time without wasting any shots and hopefully without dying as well. I made it the first try last time, but this is kind of rough. No, leave me alone. Okay, well, they don't shoot, uh, shoot that quickly. And, um, well, in succession, I mean. So, and they also don't kill you when they touch you. So I guess that's good, but you can't just jump through them at either like they block your path so you have to have a certain distance ah, damn almost but okay this is doable now that I understand these enemies and know that they don't get ah, damn whoa that was so close <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> this game This time we're gonna make it out. No! I missed. That's not good. There we go. Off we go. And we got the vacuum cleaner. Only six shots left. That's still not good, but it's enough to kill another one of those, so I suppose that that's got to be good enough. 
Let's save. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget saving anymore. <laughs> It's interesting that ice physics don't do anything to you while you're on the pogo stick. I would suppose that you'd just like fall flat on your face, but well, I guess that's an F4 realism. Or maybe I just don't know anything about pogo sticks. Uh, I think I'll have to shoot these, I think, because uh, the risk of falling down here is just huge. Am I gonna, gonna risk it? I think I'm gonna risk it. I don't wanna waste any shots. And I said I'm only gonna shoot when it's absolutely necessary. And I still hope that it's not absolutely necessary here. Let's hope that I'm correct. So far so good. I might be correct after all. I just wish I knew where it was safe to land, but I don't. Um, this is good. Okay, but... Uh, where do I... Oh yeah, down here, right? I think I'm on the right path. Yes, perfect. Ah, well, this went better than expected. <laughs> and we get the foreshadowing again. You will need a ray gun in the end, but not to shoot a Vorticon. Alright. Let's do this one again too. I think this one wasn't as bad, right? Nah, this one is pretty chill. Famous last words. This one is pretty chill. Dad. There are multiple keen appearances in Doom games. Huh. Good to know. Uh, did you look it up or did you already know about that? <laughs> I guess I gotta play more Doom then, just because I like keen. <laughs> Is worth it? I'm not sure. Probably not. It's just lives and I can save whenever I want, so I'm not gonna waste a shot on that. Uh, and the Doom guy is the grandson of Keen. Oh wait, there's, there's more. Uh, and at some point they said Keen is the son of the main character from Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein and the Doom guy is the grandson of Keen. I suppose that makes perfect sense. Um, <laughs> I guess I gotta play Wolfenstein to them. Damn, their strategy is working so well. They just want me to play all their games. A voice buzzes in your mind. There's a hidden city. Look in the dark area of the city to the south. Yeah, will do. Dark area of the city to the south. Ooh, okay, so... So it's a hidden city that I can find inside a level. Um, because, well, if I'm in the city and it's the dark area of the city... Huh. Well, let's see. I'm not sure what the city to the south is. Probably this here. Let's check out these, uh, these other huts first and let's remember to save. Hmm. Can I ignore you? Can I do it? Might be able to. I think I am. Ooh, I'm getting good at the pacifist route. More philosophy! <laughs> And 
Find the teddy bear. I want to explore what's down there. Huh, you're new. What's up? <laughs> you hear in your mind, Gark! <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, damn. I forgot that there's an invisible ceiling. Uh, doesn't make sense so much, but the newer Wolfenstein games are really great nonetheless. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, I've just not played many first-person shooters in general for a long, long time, but I've uh, I've had people I trust recommend uh, the newer Doom games to me as well, so yeah, I suppose maybe I should try my luck again at first-person shooters. As long as I'm not playing online modes competitively, I guess I'll be fine. I don't really like that. My skill is just too low and I don't feel like putting in the time to try to change anything about that, so yeah. But for playing a single player campaign, I think it should be good. Well, let's see what's up here. Whoops, don't jump on my head. I'm supposed to jump on your head. Still don't know what these little robots do. I think I've touched one and it didn't kill me, but I still don't really trust that. Don't wanna don't wanna try that again actually. I'm just gonna grab as much as I can. Don't have to get everything. And I have to go down again. Oh well. Might have to shoot this one, I think. I'm not sure. No! I should have tried, or I should have just shot it, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna even collect all this stuff now. I think. Nah. Who cares about lives? Am I gonna try again to get over this one? It's just about the timing. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. <laughs> But exciting! Ah. Come on, don't do that. There's not enough space here. Ah. Do I have to wait for them all to come down here? Don't... Oh wait, maybe here. Yeah, here I can also get through. Ah, annoying. Whew. That was good. What's up? The a, a, a Yorpish whisper say says. So this is a Yorp, I think. Look for dark hidden bricks. You can see not, but their upper left corner. Huh. Okay. Like in this area or in general? <laughs> I can see nothing but their upper left corner. Huh. Now they are secrets. It's already hard enough without looking for secrets. I'm just gonna continue. <laughs> uh, I guess let's uh, let's do this area here first before we walk all the way down there. And let's keep saving. Ooh, we get more shots, finally. That's what I was looking for. I guess I should have just went into or gone into this level. Well, I didn't. Eh, doesn't matter now. Mm, I'm not gonna go down there for these cans. Not worth it. I am gonna shoot this one though. Hmm. 
Nice, extra life. Card over there. What's going on here? I wonder if you can actually complete the game without the pogo stick. Not that I would like to do that. I like the pogo stick, but would be interesting to know if it's possible or if it's uh, like a mandatory tool at some point. Damn, I hope I can make it back. Maybe I could, but I didn't. <laughs> Guess we have to take the long way. Oh, that's okay. It's not that far. No! Ooh, I thought it was gonna fall down. I was so scared. <laughs> Anything else up here? Why doesn't the screen scroll up? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess there might be more. I'm gonna go right first. The blue key card was somewhere over to the right, so... Yeah, okay, there is more, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Eh, not really. I'm not gonna go up there, waste two shots for some, some soda cans. That one's gonna be a problem. If I have to go there from below, I think I'm dead. Let's hope that I don't have to. I think the key card might be over to the left here. And it is. Ooh, and I almost died. This is so mean! <sighs> Glad that I didn't. But if I had, I would have been angry at the game. I hope I don't die. Thanks. <laughs> I like how the music stopped in exactly that, that moment, like there was a a pause in the music right when I was like doing that blind jump or blind drop rather yeah, I mean now I have uh... okay we have so many key cards and we need even more <laughs> like I see Still need a green one, I think. I haven't seen that one yet. Um, so what I was gonna say, uh, now I have um, Retro Tuesday, Platforming Friday, and um, Puzzle Sunday. Maybe I should get, or yeah, I mean, I guess first person shooters are also kinda platformers in a way. Maybe it can also be first person or FPS uh, Friday. <laughs> so yeah, I might think about that and maybe maybe play some first person shooters. Okay. Oh damn. There we go. Please don't tell me the green key card is over there to the left. Oh, now I know why you get ammo in this level, because you need it. Ah, I'm afraid the green key card might really be over there. Ah, damn. Oh, we're gonna see. I don't know, am I backtracking right now or... I don't think so. Nope. 
haven't been here yet, I think. I think this is good. Ah, damn, whoa, that was close. Last second. Okay, got the red key card. I think the green one is still missing, though. Crap. Maybe we'll find it with, uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'll just hope that it's not over there to the left, but I'm afraid it might be. If that ruins all my progress now, I'm gonna be so, so sad and angry and mad and uh, uninstall the game. <laughs> well, probably not. But it really wouldn't be nice. Damn. Oof. Okay. I'm heading off to bed. Still not done, but we'll get up at 5 and try to finish things up. Oh, damn. That's so rough. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, like, stopping by even when you have so much to do. That's super nice of you. And... Uh, Okay, 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 I'm gonna leave you alone here. Keep your Pepsi cans. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, enjoy your four hours of sleep. <laughs> Damn, I can relate to that. It's so rough. Um, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Sleep as well as possible in those four hours. And um, yeah, good luck with everything. Uh, I mean, the good thing, you'll be done in less than 48 hours so that's at least something to look forward to <laughs> uh, uh, trying to be positive but uh, yeah again thanks for stopping by and see you soon <laughs> Die. Uh, not you not you <laughs> talking to the don't know what they're called <laughs> you please don't die uh, have a nice stream with the first half at least. Ah, okay, next week is philosophy. Ah, oh, damn. There's the negativity. <laughs> uh. Damn, still missing the green key card. I think. Yes. Backtracking. <laughs> yeah, but I hope that at least you'll have a bit of a weekend then and time to sleep a bit more. That would be nice. Or time to watch more st uh, streams. Or time to fall asleep to more streams. Maybe that's a good compromise. Ha! Green key card! I don't have to go to the left. Ah, thanks. This is good game design. <laughs> I'm totally positive. It's gonna be rough, but I'll get it done eventually. Ah, that's that's great to hear. Positivity! Yay! I mean... Negativity is also fine. Um, don't want that to uh, uh, positivity to become toxic. But uh, yeah, good to hear that you're not uh, entirely overwhelmed and uh, drowning in... Uh, negativity. <laughs> uh, if I had died to this one now, I would have been really sad. Uh, I, I might still do that. I guess I'm gonna play it safe and just shoot it because I'm not... I, I don't trust my ability to jump from this ledge over here. I could have done it, but yeah, this was safer. Okay, going to bed for real now. Good night. Good night, constantly confused. Um, and again, good luck with everything. It's always nice having you here. <laughs> I have to go down on the right here. Ah, uh, damn. My lack of orientation doesn't only show in 3D games, but sometimes also in 2D games. But yes, this is correct. This was rough. Did I miss the dark area and the hidden, hidden thing? I'm not sure, but uh, I guess I'm not gonna do a 100% run anyway, so suppose I'm not gonna look for secrets today. <laughs> At least, I mean, if I if I stumble upon them, that's cool, but I'm not gonna force it. Yeah, I think I probably missed it. That's okay. More sh- Root! Uh, 
Oh, I'll just shoot you. Damn. Okay, so the icicles do kill you and I think I forgot to save, so let's quickly do that. Yes, indeed, I did forget. I definitely don't want to play the... I forgot again that you fall here. Um, I think you can stand on this right. I wasn't sure the first time. Okay, we don't have this key card. Yeah, I don't really want to play the previous level again. I'm just glad I got... What the hell? Ah. What, like, Super Mario's Kaizo blocks are in this game invisible blocks, but I guess you can see that there's a difference. I mean, they have these tiny little cracks on the lower right side, I think. So I guess that's something to pay attention to. I just noticed that difference. Uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Leave me alone. Couldn't turn around. <laughs> Guess I should have tried jumping out of the way. <laughs> ah, well, at least we get more shots. And again, I forgot. Whatever, we need the key card down here anyway. Hello, Many Zero. Welcome to the stream. Nice, nice having you here. We're just playing some Commander Keen, as you can see. <laughs> um, I mean, since you found this stream, I suppose you ah, might know this game. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. But it's great. And it's my childhood. <laughs> I'm not gonna go down there again. No more ice for me. <laughs> nice. Uh, not quite that nice. Following this game pays off sometimes. Yeah, I just, uh, before I started the stream, I checked out um, if anyone was streaming it. Like, uh, probably not, I, I thought already, and no one actually did. But uh, I, I also searched for clips, and I did find... Um, I think one streamer who had uh, played it recently, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, it's it's really nice to to see people playing these really old games that probably not many people uh, think about anymore these days. I mean, I guess some people do, but uh, compared to the bigger games of uh, these days, yeah, it's just a relatively small group. But yeah, this is. Ah, so nice playing this again. <laughs> and I uh, really have to pay attention to these blocks. <laughs> I mean, it's probably been something... Why did I shoot that one? That was so unnecessary. Um, it's probably been like 25 years since I first played this. At least that's the assumption I made today. I'm not exactly sure, but... Yeah, should have been around that time, maybe even a bit earlier than that. And this time I see the block and get the pizza. Nice. Do I have this key card? I'm not sure. Yes, I do. Ooh, oh, damn. This time I didn't see the block. Crap. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if I followed it, but uh, I guess that's something I should do. <laughs> I'm just happy that uh, Twitch actually has a category for it and you don't have to put it under, I don't know, games and demos or something. But I guess this is like still an important part of video game history. Ah, damn, this was so close. <laughs> uh, and I think I made a mistake because I think I have to go back and grab that yellow key card. So this was, this was for nothing. I, I'm not sure, wait. Yes, I do have the green key card, so I have to go back. Damn. Uh, yeah, so I, I guess this is an important piece of video game history. Uh, considering the company behind this. But uh, yeah, I still wasn't sure if I was gonna play this whole level again. Now I am sure. <laughs> I could load or just continue. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna continue. And own my mistakes. 
Could I just make that jump there at the beginning? I'm, I'm wondering now. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll I'll try some other time. Uh, well, at least this time I hopefully remember to go back here when I have the green key card. Uh, <laughs> Damn! <laughs> And again I forgot, so again no try, but I think I might actually die when I try. I think there's icicles there. Uh, I played a bit better before before you turned up, so I guess I got nervous. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh, nice emote. <laughs> is, uh, is that your own or brain slug? Is that a public emote? Hmm. I, I was uh, curious, but it yeah looks like a public emote. Cool. That actually really resembles those. <laughs> do I collect this? Yes, I do. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again, though. That's a Twitch one. Yeah, I saw now that I that I checked it, but oof! Damn, this game <laughs> bringing out all the reactions. <laughs> And this time I see the hidden block, so I'll get this right away. But I don't think I'll collect the teddy bear this time. But yeah, I'm gonna use that emote more often now. <laughs> Thanks for using it. Okay. I don't even know where I got everything before. Ah, come on, fall down. You too. Oh wait, we can make it. Yes. Okay. And some pizza as well. Then down again. And now we get the key card and don't fall down. Ideally. Now we backtrack. Not gonna deceive me again. And play my lack of memory. Here we go. This is gonna be good. Just don't step on a on a block you're not supposed to step on and you're good. So I suppose you uh, probably also know this game from your childhood. Uh, I guess it's very unlikely that like... Uh, I mean I guess maybe if uh, some parents showed this game to their kids like uh, this is what I played when I was young. But uh, I guess it's more likely that you actually are uh, at a similar age as I am. <laughs> Ooh, that was dangerous. Kinda unnecessarily so. Here we are. Oh damn, icicles on top. I might uh, prefer to use the pogo stick here. Yeah, here we go. I played it when I when it came out. Whoa, okay, then you played it before I did. When it came out, I think I was four. Not not quite in video game uh, at, at video game age yet. But I, I guess I played it like four years or so after it came out, probably when I was like eight. At least that's my rough assumption right now. Um, uh, Boris, another person uh, who's hopefully still watching, um, said that he played these uh, yeah, around the age of eight and I think it might be the same for me and I hope I don't die and I didn't. Great. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's the best guess I have, but yeah, playing them when they came out, that's even cooler actually. I think I never played uh, the ones that weren't free, um, like that weren't free as shareware. <laughs> Still listening at least. 
All right, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Uh, a Yorpy mind thought bellows. You cannot kill the Vorticon commander directly. Ah, so I maybe that that foreshadowing was that I need to shoot something else to kill the Vorticon commander. Hmm. I guess we are the same age then. Yeah, might be. I don't know, but I was born in December 1987. It was a cold winter. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Um, I, uh, I hope I can get over there without dying. That would be great, right? Ha! Platforming skills. <laughs> hmm, I think there's only one level left. I'm scared, but also excited. <laughs> Let's see. I was in here before and uh, I was lacking ammo. Couldn't make it very far without ammo. I'm not sure if I ever made it this far when I was a child. I kinda... I'm leaning towards the assumption that I wasn't, because this doesn't ring any bells anymore. <laughs> Only one life! Yeah, well, I have a save. <laughs> I, I didn't really... Uh, continue collecting lives after a while anymore because I was like the only time like I had to load a save today was when I was out of ammo and couldn't find a spot to get new ammo and I really kind of needed it for levels like this so hmm, this is kind of rough though uh, maybe this is better actually for getting up there at least yeah this is better hmm yeah, that works. Good enough. <laughs> also, it's so much more exciting when you only got one life. Have I been up here? I think I might have. As I said, I have a bad memory sometimes. But whatever. Ah, I haven't been up here. Let's get these soda cans. Yeah, only 3,000 away from another life, so... <laughs> And I mean, one life is actually one life to spare, so I might, uh, I, I may still die once and uh, all would still be fine. Yeah, I think I made it this far and then I couldn't really uh, get further because there were enemies in my way that I kind of needed to shoot. Yeah, that one up there totally blocked my way last time, I think. No, 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 no. And this one is kind of hard to get past without ammo, I think. Oh, why? Was that the commander or what? I thought it would be dead now. I, I shot it four times. Crap. <sighs> well... Typically they died after four shots, but this one didn't. Or I missed weirdly, I'm not sure. Well, now we're done to, uh, down to our last life, so now it gets really interesting. I mean, yes, I can still load, but I would prefer not to. Now wait, the pogo technique and the moonwalk walking technique. Hmm, well, this works too, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, let's grab those Pepsi cans. Hashtag not sponsored, sadly. <laughs> not sure if I'd take a Pepsi sponsorship. I mean, pretty sure they are not interested anyway, so whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, that might be bad or not. Huh. Well, I discovered something new. By accident, but here we are. Maybe this is good. Maybe my lack of skill. I mean, this is interesting. This looks like... I don't know. This looks like... 
I'm not sure what this looks like, but definitely like tiny rooms with these monsters in it and each one has a teddy bear. So this is a bit weird. And we get another pogo stick. I am confused. What's going on here? Seriously, what the hell? Well, I'm dead now. Uh, do you prefer Coke or Pepsi? Um, I don't really care, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't drink drink too much coke anyway uh, so we have everything except for the alcohol oh well i'll put my name in there and um i guess i load <laughs> damn well here we go again <laughs> dual wielding pogo sticks yeah that's what i'm talking about i'm really wondering what's going on down there <sighs> Let's try that again. I don't know if I want to fall down there again. I mean, I am quite in in intrigued by all that, but... Is that just a backup pogo stick in case you didn't collect the first one or... Or what's going on? No! The timing. Well, there goes my first of two lives. It's so boring if you're not down to your last life. I mean, this seems to be the showdown, so I think it's okay if I fail a bit. I might be able to do this at some point. Not sure where exactly that point is. <laughs> might take me a while, honestly. Damn. Why did you have to stop right there at the end? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> do I go up? Or do I go down? Hmm. Ah, maybe you go down. Yeah, maybe indeed it is a backup pogo stick because it seems to be mandatory here to get up here. You kind of need the pogo stick, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna go down again. It's uh, nice that we saw that uh, creepy kindergarten there, but uh, I don't want to check it out again, I think. Let's see. Let's see if we can get past this one now. If it's the commander, well, they told us that we can't get, like, can't just shoot it, so I wonder. Ooh, I see. There's a big boulder up top, so maybe we want to drop this on it. Hmm. Can we maybe at least stun this one to get past? That would be nice. I'm just gonna shoot it a couple of times. I mean, if we can't, then it... This is too dangerous. Hmm, but I see. We definitely gotta drop that thing. The question now is just, how do we do that? <sighs> well, there we go again. I'm gonna be on all the top spots here. <laughs> At least we've learned something, so that's good. Uh. Okay, last load. This time we gotta make it. Let's get the alcohol. <laughs> I just wish I wouldn't have to do this first part all over again every time. Eh, well, at least I'm getting better at this. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> That was good. Quite the precise jump. <laughs> Poor Gerd. Gerd? Gerd Gerd. <laughs> Here we go. Now the question is, can we just... Can we somehow get past that one? I really don't know. We probably have to go through this door, right? I mean, that's what the key card is for. But then what? In. There he is. That's probably the commander. Can't get out here. Can we maybe get up here? Yes! 
Aha. <laughs> well, that that definitely simplified things. <laughs> and here we go. We got the stuff. Commander Keen returns to the bean with bacon, mega rocket and quickly replaces the missing parts. He must get home before his parents do. <sighs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> and here we go. Back to Earth. Bye Mars. That was kind of cruel. No, <laughs> that's cute. I'm not sure what it is, but it's cute. Um, I guess we, we're stopping there. No, or not. We at least said hello. <laughs> and back to Earth. Oh, this looks interesting. I've never seen this. Nice pixel art. <laughs> Keen makes it home and rushes to bed. His parents upstairs. Okay. Shh, honey. Let's see if little Billy is asleep. Billy? Are you a... What is this one-eyed green thing in your room? Ah, uh... oh, mom, can't I keep him? <laughs> well, we'll talk about that in the morning, son. You get some rest. Okay, mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> well... They seem to be pretty understanding, but there is no sleep for Commander Keen. The Vorticon mothership looms above, ready to destroy Earth. Oh, that's the Vorticon mothership. Pretty cool, uh, cute and cool, I guess. <laughs> so, um, seems like that's our next stop then. To be continued, you must find your way onto the Vorticon mothership and destroy all the horrible Tantalus rays. If you don't, the Earth explodes. Don't miss episode two. Ah, <sighs> nice. We made it. We made it through episode one. Nice, nice, nice. And I've got 32 warnings in my OBS. That's uh, that's scary. Hmm. It's sad I dropped frames like 23 minutes ago, and 25 minutes ago, and 27 minutes ago. Ah well, that's in the past. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too bad, but I guess he would have let me know. I hope so. In any case, you must find your way onto the Vorticon mothership and destroy all the Herald. Yeah, okay, well, that's, uh, that's part two then. Nothing more to read here. So, um... Back. Uh, oh, I'm not not actually in the game window right now. There we go. <laughs> Outsmarted the Vorticon chief and... Huh. Looks like other people have different colored versions of the same things. I'm not sure if that's just a, a feature, a graphical feature or... Nah, it is just a feature like... Uh, um, because I actually on my previous runs have differently colored uh, things as well. Oh well, we made it through. Win! I guess it's time to start episode two then. <laughs> Let's see. Um, whoop, and quit. Back to game launcher. 